All right, guys, black is here. Beautiful day. All right, check this out. I said I was gonna make a video and I was gonna, you know, name certain parts that's on this car that's not on the F-150 and vice versa. For instance, let's talk about the EGR valve. This car, from my understanding, does not have an EGR valve. I used to think that was the EGR valve a long time ago. Then I was wondering, why does it have what looks like a heater hose going to the EGR valve? Well, it's not an EGR valve. That is a auxiliary air pump uh, check valve. It allows air to go into the exhaust but it don't allow exhaust to come back out. And that hose right there is coming from the air pump. There's a video where I install an auxiliary air pump on this on this car. It's set up under here somewhere. Right in here. Well, check this out. This pipe right here goes down to that auxiliary air pump and that pipe here comes back up to that check valve and it pumps exhaust into the into the engine i guess i think it does it when it's cold i think that's when it mostly does it anywho this truck does not have an auxiliary air pump if it does I don't know where it is. I don't think it do. I don't think it do. But let's see. I don't remember ever seeing one. remember ever seeing one if it did if it do I haven't heard I guess I have to google that I don't think it has one though but also as I was saying this car does not have an EGR valve so how does it pass emission without an EGR valve from my understanding it has variable valve timing but variable valve time is on the exhaust cam only. From my understanding, it has what's called internal EGR, meaning they adjust the timing of the exhaust valve to control EGR. From my understanding, it closes the exhaust valve early before all the exhaust exit the engine and that's how they recirculate the exhaust. It don't actually, it never actually leaves. So it's not recirculated, it's more like it keeps the exhaust from leaving. Whereas a lot of engine, the exhaust comes out, it goes to the EGR valve, and then the EGR valve allows it to come back into the intake. But this engine, it cuts off the exhaust before it leaves. Not all of it, just a little bit. Well, anyway, this truck, does not have EGR valve. It does the exact same thing. It has variable valve timing on both exhaust valve and intake valve from my understanding. Whereas that engine only has variable valve timing on the exhaust. This has it on the intake and the exhaust. And it controls EGR the same way from my understanding. By you, by, by um, timing the exhaust valve. I mean the exhaust cam. Okay, what else? Well, this engine has coil, that engine has coil. And I said I was gonna make this video when I had my Golf because the Golf, it does not have an EGR valve at all. And it doesn't even have variable valve timing. From my understanding, the EGR is built into the factory cam and it's not the first time I've heard that I heard some GM cars 
and a few other cars are made like that where they the uh, EGR is built into the exhaust cam uh, I think the first quad fours that came out they were built like that well EGR was built into the exhaust cam from the factory and that's how they got exhaust to recirculate um, this car has power steering that has electric power steering so it does not have a power steering pump um, this car has a mechanical water pump that car has a mechanical water pump but this truck has an electric water pump also a lot of people don't know that Hey man, my battery's starting to um, leak. Uh-uh, it's time for a new battery. It's, um, I got it, this truck in 2016 and I've never had to replace the battery. But anyway, right here and it's, is an electric water pump. From my understanding, when the engine is hot and you cut the engine off, that water pump will pump for so many long so many minutes it pumps water through the oil cooler and through the turbos to keep the turbos from burning up when you shut the engine down that's another reason why ford ecoboost turbos don't wear out every 60,000 miles like people on those damn forums want you to believe they don't uh, this truck has drive by wire meaning there's no throttle cable that truck has drive-by wire, no throttle cable. And the Golf is drive-by wire, no throttle cable. So the only vehicle I have that has throttle cable is the Cadillac DeVille. And I guess you can say the motorcycle too if you want to count it as a vehicle. I can't think of anything else right now, but um, I saw I was gonna make a video talking about stuff like that. That's how you lock the door on a, on a car like this. Hold these two buttons. How do you unlock it? Different story. Anywho, um, I guess that's about it. Well, I should be letting this car warm up. Uh, yeah, it has a booster. That truck has a booster. I can't think of anything else. Now, this computer sits on the side of the motor. This, oh, hell, I popped the hood. Uh, that truck, the computer sits over here on the firewall. And oh, I know what. This truck has a fuel pressure regulator. The Golf, do the Golf have a fuel? I think the Golf has a fuel pressure regulator, I think. But this truck does not have a fuel pressure regulator. It has a well, let me change that. <clears throat> it regulates fuel pressure by controlling the fuel pump. Whereas this fuel pump simply runs wide open and the fuel pressure regulator regulates the fuel pump pressure. The actual fuel pump itself regulates the fuel pressure in this truck. I think, like I said, I think the Golf has a fuel pressure regulator and the Calais has a fuel pressure regulator. My motorcycle has a built-in fuel pressure regulator that's built into the fuel pump. But anyway, uh, let me go get me something to eat and go get some oil. And I'm thinking about buying a new laptop because my old laptop is acting like you don't want to go on the internet sometime. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. Black.